Welcome back to a brand new video. In this video, we are at the Elex show in Ali Pali, and I'm with the Navitas boys. And it's Navitas on tour. Um, I'm on the stand with the guys for two days, and we're going to try and sell some consumer units. I'm not a very good sales guy, so. Do the podcast? Yeah. Oh, I'm doing the podcast, for, uh, the talk app. We're going to try and do live, um, a live podcast and try and get people on the show whoever's turning up so yeah we'll see how it goes join me for a couple of days i'm going to try and show some different bits than usual because you know the shows are pretty much the same but yeah let's see what we can do and let's roll on right well what are you expecting from this show today i think it's going to be the best show we've ever done or it's going to be a complete washout <laughs> if i'm honest so far we can't even pay for the parking so we might not even be able to get here blue who are we expecting to come and see us? Uh, on the podcast, I think Ryan's coming, uh, Kimmy's coming, Fear might pop by, a few of other people have been on, um, and hopefully just people just passing. Like I said, we're going to film little bits throughout the day, I think, rather than do like full shows. And then everyone who's an electrician who uh, takes pride in their work, who wants to fit the best consumer unit in the world. So yeah, if you did come to the show and you've seen us, thank you. And if you didn't, come to the next one. So I'm currently being shown how to put up, what's it called? Uh, it's a roller banner. A roller banner. So here we go. That's okay. So first things first. Yeah. Set this up. So just like a tent. Just like that. Okay. Yeah. So it all goes into one pole. All right. Uh, <laughs> right. So you just want to tame. There we are. Just like that. Just like that. I'll let you do it. There we are. <laughs> step by step, baby. You gotta. Okay. You're gonna have to put the foot down there. You got your left hand. Hold your left hand. There we Boom. Are. Navitas, it's all about power. So Navitas have brought out their own merch now. Let me just flip the camera around and show you what it's like. So, t-shirts, they are nice. Beanies, probably the wrong time of the year for the beanies though, isn't it? Yeah, they came in a bit late. Yeah, hats, I do like, these are the like kind of hats I like to wear. So, yeah, I like them ones. And what else we got? Hoodies, we got hoodies, they got bags. Bags on bags on bags and notepads so yeah they've gone all out and can they buy it online yeah they can yeah buy it online now and you can even get it with a discount code there we go discount code buy it online can't go wrong right so we've also now set up the talk app podcast stand so so this is what we got going on three cheers and will hey. and we're gonna have just people on ask them some random questions not all of me just electrical related just have a bit of a laugh different people on and see what they come out with really so yeah, we're gonna give it a go and maybe give people like five minute segments and then cut it up all into one big podcast. And if I go around here, I'll show you the Navitas stand as well. So that's what it looks like. So it's looking very nice, very good. They got everything going on. So yeah, we're pretty much set now. With everything in here. And then, yeah, so it's looking good. Will's just setting up the cameras now. And that's it. So yeah, Will has set me the task of giving away a load of bags. These orange no or, orange green navitas bags so i'm just trying to hand them out to anyone anyone who comes to these shows loves a freebie so they are flying away he just wants everyone walking around the show with a bright green backpack on their back so all right guys anyone want free bags we're giving away free bags right so i got the guys from chauvin Anu opposite us which is awesome because i got a great relationship with them and let, let me just Flip the camera. There the guys are. They've, it's their first time at an Elex show, and they got their own rig and all set up. I'll have to show you it more in depth, um, like later on when I get a bit of time. But uh, me and Joel at WhatsApp, um, if you haven't heard about it, it's our monthly newsletter. Teamed up with Sharman Anu, and we like created like a special edition for their show. So that's like the front cover of all the guys that work there, and then obviously me and Joel, and uh, yeah, all their pals. So, like a really cool front cover, and then on the back. It's all like just useful insights about like energy and whatever. So yeah, it's just perfect to go on their stand and just for people to obviously yeah, just chuck in their bag and have a quick look at. And um, hopefully we get some sign-ups. That's the idea of it really, um, to get some sign-ups from it. But yeah, so I thought it was pretty cool. It came out quite well. And yeah, we like it. Right, it's picking up a lot better now. We've had a few guests on. We've had Charvan Arnu, CA, um, you know, like a electro switch and We've got Nate that wanted to come on and some other brands, so people are willing to come on now. I think people are just, like I said, nervous. So 
which I get. Like I, I do I hate asking people to come on, but yeah, it's gonna like the show is so busy. It doesn't really do it justice on you, but there's people everywhere, they've got talks going on, food. I might have to go grab a bit of food in a minute to be honest with you. Um, yeah, it's, it's going really well. And this is just the first day, it's also time now, one o'clock, so we've got another couple of hours today. Um, day as well, pottering about. Right, so guys, I'm at the CA stand now, Charvan Arnu, and they're gonna give us a little demonstration of their rig. It looks like a pretty cool setup, so I'll flip the camera around and let Elliot take it away. Just hold it. Lovely too, job. So I'm Elliot. As we can see here, we have an incoming feed going to this DB. Let's say we pretend it's really busy in here, um, which we've got down here. I need someone else to hold it to demonstrate stuff. Yeah, I, I, I you, you got that? Yeah. Lovely job. So what we've got here is our AMA400D. So it measures down to three decimal places and up to 400 amps. Um, let's pretend in here it's really busy and we are wanting to check, say for instance, a certain circuit. We can wrap it around a core conductor or even weave it in and out of any core that we need and it will tell us exactly what's on that circuit. Say for instance here we've got 0 0.567 amps. And can you see that? Yeah. We can press hold, it holds that in place and then we can remove remove the CT. Really useful bit of kit because you, as I said you can weave it in and out. Next we've got a, an earth clamp here so this is ultimately it really really helpful. Let me turn it on first. Really really helpful. We haven't got means of testing it here today but as you can see here we wait for it to zero. After it zeroes we can put it around and it shows a resistance reading and also a current reading if there was any. So that's for t uh, yeah, like light like detection, yeah. TTO thing. Multiple, multiple earthing. Only works on multiple. Next up we have our PEL 51. So this is a single phase uh, power and energy logger. Let's say you've got an incoming feed um, going into a house where we've got single phase, you know, DB there. We could plug it in a wall socket, wrap it around the conductor um, of the incomer and then we can see what voltage is there, what current's there, exactly what power and energy is being used within that. Really useful unit for any maximum demand surveys or you're wanting to see if there's any drop in voltage potentially, over voltage issues or under voltage issues. This will capture that data for you then to report that to the client or even to the DNO um, if that's needed. We have three phase PEL 113 newly released unit. Um, really good unit. These can both be added to a network and we can review it all remotely and stuff like that. It's we've got you can change the configuration so we can also use this in a single phase operation um, as you can see here we've got it wrapped around these these cts here and we're just demonstrating you can see on each phase we've got l1 1.8 three decimal places for current and the same for, for the voltage side so we've got on voltage no two for two for voltage in this instance one looks like there's no voltage there but it's only got a single phase you can also do harmonics so it's got watt and energy mode which will capture the p energy over a period of time and then it can measure harmonics up to the 50th order last one so we've got ca8345 this is a power quality analyzer so it can do a lot that the pel 113 can do but it can also capture transients uh, sags voltage sags and swells so you get a drop in voltage or a spike across the cycle it can capture that what we can do here is we can someone turn that down we can simulate so this is sure as pulse width, width modulation which is what this is doing and it basically we can turn this up to 50 hertz and we can see the voltage not a clean sine wave not a nice nice separation the same but we can see 253.9 volts, 254.2 and 254.1. We can also go... If that was an actual three-phase mode, would, it, would that, that would be, be Yeah, that'd be... So with, with a balanced system, you, you know, 120 degrees apart, you would see them coming to a positive 230 in an ideal world and a negative. Most instances, that's not the case. Um, as we can see on here, because of this being the way it is, we've got this... this mad pulse because yeah. pulse width modulate is going we can see there the, the sine wave um, and we can also view the harmonics within that so we can see we put it onto the harmonic function we can see the fundamental which is the first harmonic and then we can see after the fact um, what percentage of that is on there so yeah appreciate that thank you for letting me show some of my stuff today so yeah some really useful gear there you can guys go and check out i love this stuff it's just so like technical i love it it's not it's different from the standard testers so yeah definitely go and check them out i have a close relationship with them and they're awesome <laughs> what <laughs> look at me disgust
Right, we've got 15 minutes left for the show end. I am knackered. And apparently, we can go for a cheeky drink somewhere here that uh, he lets put on for all the exhibitors. So, up to so Hopefully, it's a free bar. Never know. But, um, no, it's supposed to be like a networking thing then. So, you know, more talking. But at least I can have a sit down then. Um, so, yeah, sort of keep you updated. Oh, you want me to say something? Shout out Jimbo, hottest electrician channel out there. I don't know what you want to say. I, I, I just put it on the spot, that's what I mean. Oh, right, okay. Welcome to the Elect show. Oh my God, sorry. So, oh my God, all right, all right. Just Something exciting then, Mike. Uh, I'll finish the job you started then, shall I do it? What are you talking about? No, we were doing waiting for you. I'm here. Yeah, uh, right. You all right? Oh, my legs is <laughs> getting a haggy time now. <laughs> you want to talk? It's you good to talk. This is on the Jimbo Electrician video. This is on the Jimbo Electrician video. We are taking it seriously. Oh. We got, uh, it's drink a clock in a minute, isn't it? Drink a clock. Drink a clock. It's not taking it seriously, Joe. No, it is. It is. That's well, why we network as well, socialise. More than that, your profit on a mere $6,000 investment would be upwards of $60,000. Oh, yeah. Go on, listen, John. Do you know what supposed to be? <laughs> 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 yeah, but that's not what he said. <laughs> Listen, John. No, I was trying to... Yeah, 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 he, he does, doesn't he? John. He's selling something, isn't he? Yeah, he's got like the Disney stuff. Yeah, 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 that's like Will's favourite film. <laughs> Super bonus about it. Yeah, go on then, sell me. Sell me the dream. Is this recording? It is recording. Oh, right, okay. Well, this is going to be one of those outtakes, isn't it? You suck. <laughs> <laughs> you are You're fucking useless. useless. <laughs> right, we got nowhere with that. So, yeah, we'll end it there. See you at the pub. Right, so guys, we are at the bar and I'm drinking lager, which I don't really like, but it's all they got. And it's free, so I ain't going to complain. And to be honest, I'm on my third one, I'm a little bit tipsy. And there's the boys, everyone is just, um, you know, networking. There's Jay and Will, and all the exhibitors just having a drink, and network, having a chat, you know. So a bit out of the equation, really, because they talk all about sales, and I don't know what. So I just come for a sit down, my legs are killing. I'm having a moan, that is what it is. Right, we are back at the B&B, and we're just about to have food, we're all starving. Just smashed uh, Will on FIFA. Did not. Uh, I smashed him on FIFA. Jay's not even in the conversation. <laughs> Jay's Jay not. Jay um, and we're just about to have a munch on. So, cheers, guys. That is it from us tonight. See you for day two. Right, it is day two at the Ali Pali Elec show, and we're still going to set up. Here's Jay getting all the Navitas stuff ready. Um, Will is sorting all the talk up podcast bits out because I haven't got a clue what's going on. I just know it, click record and that's it. Um, from messages and stuff, it seems like we're going to get a lot of people here today that's going to jump on the podcast. So that'll be good. Um, but yeah, let's just crack on. I'm not going to bore you with the intro again for another day. So let's go. Right, so guys, it is like so much more busier today on this stand. Like I've been non-stop recording with people coming on. So I swear like everyone has just turned up on the Friday that's willing to talk on camera. It's been mental. I've, I forgot to get footage of everyone. I've had like Ryan Davis on, Owen, Ben. There's so, so many people um, and a lot of apprentices doing their story. So it's been good. Right, so we are coming to the end of the show. As you can tell by the faces of these two. <laughs> That's the thumbnail there. Yeah, yeah. Defeated. Uh, social battery gone. But it's been a lot busier today, I'm there, than, um, than yesterday. Right, so guys, we're going to go for a little wander. I'm just going to do a probably a voiceover on this. So I just want to get content. I don't want to be speaking at the stand. So I'll get all the content. We'll do a voiceover and I'll show you around what it's like. So we're just having a wander about and there is the Bollenton stand. I don't think they've been there for a while at an ELEC show, so it was cool to see them back. I love their tools. They are expensive, but they, you get what you pay for at the end of the day. It is a great brand. And then at these ELEC shows, there's just so many brands at different companies. Um, you know, it's just loads of stuff you're going to look at. Not everyone's going to tickle your fancy to have a look in, but it's always nice to have a chat with some of them. And you usually see the same companies at every one. You get the odd different one at different ELAC shows. 
Um, but, you know, every Elac show is very much the same. If you go to one, you've been to them all kind of thing. Unless you're going for something in particular, you know, you are they worth it? Yeah, if you get, get a day off and you can afford on a day off, it is probably worth go, worth having a little wander, having to catch up with some of the brands, putting some names to faces and just having a chat with some people. Um, but for me, yeah, I'd go up the Navitas boys now because it gives me like a purpose to go up and then I can have a little wander myself. I never seem to buy much anymore when I go to them because they say it's a sale on a lot of the stuff, but is it really when you can buy it for the same price online? Um, but it is cool looking at the stands and like I said, speaking to the people and because I work with a lot of the brands, it's nice to put faces to who I speak to online. So yeah, it was a good show. There's the guys at Metabo, shout out Metabo. So yeah, it was a good show, good turn out for Navitas especially, but thank you guys for watching this video. If you did like it, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a good one.